Okay, so this is just going to be a very quick introduction into uh, a feature in Cavalry called keyframe layers. Um, now what you're watching here is a, we've got an arm swing. As you can see, it's going from a relatively gentle swing into a more energetic swing. And, and the way this has been put together is using keyframe layers. And rather than having to sort of keyframe all the stages um, of the, the lower swing and a higher swing, it's more that you create two states, a high swing and a low swing, and then blend between the two of them. Let's just uh, start a fresh scene, or a relatively fresh scene, I should say. And so here we've literally just got our arm swinging backwards and forwards. So it's a very simple setup. We've got a, rectang a rounded rectangle, um, obviously aligned to each other and then parented one under the other. And then both have some, some keyframes on their rotation. And we have sort of looped both of these. So we've gone into uh, loop after looping which means that they just go on and on forever. Okay, so really quite a simple setup. But as you can see, that's our low arm swing. Okay, so in, in this example, we want to pick this up into a more vigorous walk. So all of a sudden our character's in a rush to get somewhere. Um, and the way we can do that is by using keyframe layers. So if we just pop up this panel here, in fact, let me just switch to the time editor first. So if we pop up this panel here, by default, you have your default keyframe layer. Every um, new scene that you create in Cavalry will have this default layer. Um, you do not need to worry about it unless you want to get into keyframe layers. So the way that we need to do this is we need to create um, different values for each one of these keys, and then we're going to blend between those two values. And all we need to do is create a new keyframe layer. So we can use the plus button down here. And let's just give this a name. So let's call it, uh, just hitting return, let's call that swing. Okay, and now, with this layer, if we double click this layer, you can see it goes green, which means it's now active. And you can see that the keyframes down here have changed state. Uh, and this is really just an indication to tell you that they're on a different keyframe layer. So let's set some different values for these keys. So instead of minus 30, let's go a little bit more, minus 50, and then we'll go to uh, 50 and then minus 50 again and then for the lower arm uh, we'll stick with zero there and let's change this to 40 and then we'll do zero at the end here as well okay so now as we click through this you can see that we've got a much bigger swing in fact let's just tidy up those uh, keyframes um, I'm going to do the lazy where I'm just going to right click and uh, go curve interpolation Bezier, and the same on this one. Okay, so that's just that's just giving us Bezier points for each one of the keys there. Um, so if I hit play now, you can see we've got that kind of more energetic swing going on. So you can imagine if you were going back to the sort of beginning of the tutorial, if you were doing this manually, you might have to sort of create lots of these loops yourself and then sort of at some point decide to create some sort of bigger loops and then go back down to the smaller loops. That's pretty painful in itself, in it, <laughs> on its own, but actually if you then wanted to come and edit that and all this was kind of linked up with other actions that your character is doing, you can imagine how problematic that can get. So with the use of keyframe layers, we can actually, we've got a strength attribute here. As you can see, if I, if I take this down to zero and hit play again, you can see that we're back down to our sort of low swing um, and so all we need to do is key this key this strength value so let's just well, let's just put a key there um, we'll put uh, a key of 100 there we'll keep that at 100 and then we will drop back down to zero now if we select this we should see those keys in the graph editor so here you can see where the strength is climbing up to 100, staying at 100 and going back down. So what should happen is that the um, the arm should swing on its low swing because the our swing layer has got no strength at all. And then it should increase to the fast swing or the, or the higher swing and then drop back down again at the end. So let's just hit play and see what happens. So low swing and then up it climbs. Okay, so obviously the beauty of this is because these are all keyframes, you know, you, you can just move these along to wherever you want them to be and change the position of that transition. And of course, the other advantage is that you've got this kind of natural transition here between those two values. So we're sort of 
over the course of this swing, we're actually transitioning from, uh, I forget, was it minus 30 originally? And then we changed it to minus 50. And so that's happening. That's being blended across there. So really nice and uh, easy way to do it. And um, yeah, a couple of little sort of uh, things to look out for with um, keyframe layers. We've got a, a little bit more work to do here, but the, the only way you can see the strength keys is in the graph editor. So uh, basically you would just sort of, if you're on, if you've got something else loaded, you would just take the thing and just select the swing. And then you can see there the, are the keys in there. Um, if you want to see your keyframe layer, if you want to see this UI inside the attribute editor, you just need to turn live mode on. And then as you select things, they, they load in. There's, there's nothing on the default layer, but um, yeah, just a couple of bits there that um, might might trip you up along the way. But um, yeah, great little feature, really useful for character animation and all sorts of other things. Okay, cheers.